By the end of this video, you'll be able to explain the importance of Turing machines and the universal Turing machine to the subject of computation. So let's just recap what a Turing machine does. So this particular Turing machine shown here is designed to take in two numbers, x and y, add them together and output the total, z. That's great, but that's all that Turing machine can ever do. We would need to design a totally separate Turing machine for every single possible computation. Turing envisioned a universal Turing machine, which could carry out any computation. Here's the actual extract from Alan Turing's 1936 paper on the universal Turing machine, and it stated, It is possible to invent a single machine which can be used to compute any sequence. If this machine, U, is supplied with a tape on the beginning of which is written SD, standard description, of some computing machine M, then U will compute the same sequence as M. OK, so let's understand what this actually means in practice. This concept is really very clever. As it states, on the start of the tape that we feed in, we need to provide some kind of standard description. Well, in our case, our standard description is a description of our theoretical Turing machine M, which is going to add two numbers together and output the result. And we place the description of this machine at the start of the tape. U, our universal Turing machine, is now essentially an interpreter and it reads in the description of M and then writes it back to the start of the tape. Once it's done that, it can then faithfully execute its operations on the data that follows exactly as M would have done. And then by doing so, we now have a universal Turing machine. So, what is the importance of the universal Turing machine? Well, it's actually massive to the world of computer science. Anything which a Turing machine can compute, a real-world computer can also compute, and vice versa. This provides us with an actual definition of what is and isn't computable. This is believed by many to be the forerunner of all modern computers. It is a general-purpose machine. A change of purpose for this universal Turing machine is achieved simply by changing the Turing machine description M, which is placed at the start of the tape. Programs and data are essentially exactly the same thing. They are just a sequence of symbols that are exactly the same as any other piece of data. And of course, this is a concept we're familiar with from modern computers.